Modbus Basics. We all know that Modbus is one of the most important open protocols used in building automation. And here are the technical specifications of PXC4 and PXC5 supporting it. Let's go through them one by one. PXC4 E16. The Ethernet version supports both RTU and TCP IP Modbus devices. The RTU devices can be connected via the RS-485 connector onboard, whereas for TCP IP devices, one of the Ethernet switches can be used. The total number of Modbus data points supported is 40. PXC4 M16. The MSTP version supports only RTU Modbus devices. It also has the RS-485 connector onboard. The total number of Modbus data points supported is 40. PXC5. The system controller comes with larger possibilities of integrating the Modbus protocol. Since the PXC5 has two RS-485 connectors on board, both of them can be simultaneously used for RTU networks, unless one of them is used for MSTP integration. For the TCP IP devices it is possible to configure up to four Modbus networks under one main IP network with different ports. The total number of Modbus data points supported is 500. Let's now have a look to the basic structure for RTU devices. First of all it is required to set up a Modbus RTU network. Then, all the devices can be added to this network. And finally the data points corresponding to each device can be added. If you want to use a device from the library, the data points will be already configured. Similarly, for TCP IP devices a TCP network has to be set up followed by the devices and relevant data points. This release does not support usage of Modbus TCP gateways. It will be supported in the later release. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.